Hello and welcome to this Simulator Spotlight presentation. My name is Jason Tranter and in this presentation we'll talk about I teach case histories. Now in truth I teach case histories is a lot like the module you get inside I learn vibration professional. So it's one of the chunks. It's presented a little bit differently in this case but it's the same uh, basic software I suppose you'd say. But it's certainly worth having a look at anyway. So here it comes. So what we've done is to make understanding the uh, vibration from real machines a bit more interesting rather than just showing uh, spectra on the screen and that sort of thing and uh, you know just static data. Here we have data from a whole lot of machines. You see them the big long list of all these machines listed here. So we can go through each one you see the picture over there on the right which we can expand if we like. Uh, so we've got data from all those machines at these various locations on the machine with you know, a bunch of details that go with it and a, a diagnosis included. But all of this data is historical data. So these are readings that we've taken at each location in three axes, both as a high frequency measurement and a, and a low frequency measurement. So we can change the, uh, whether it's the high frequency measurement or low frequency measurement, we can change from between vertical, horizontal and axial. And in this case, the vertical data only had the time waveform. We can look at it from different points, but we can also look at the, the history of this vibration if we like as well. So we can say, let's look at all, all the readings or just the last five. We can put a cursor on, on the data, oops, I should choose the right one, and look at harmonic cursors, sideband cursors. Uh, we can do all kinds of things. We can zoom in, we can do all sorts of things. And the idea is that we have all this historical data, really good case histories of, of different problems, you know, you can see in this case that 1x vibration went up uh, quite a lot. Um, we could go to different points on the machine and there's lots of things we can do with this data. So it's just a great way to be able to look at different readings, machines with real faults. But in addition to the machines with historical data, we've got machines with live data. So with these machines, and quite often we've got live and historical data on the same machines, here we have the actual raw time waveform uh, that we collected from the machine and in most cases we had 30 seconds of recording so we can listen to that vibration and so with all these different machines you know we're able to listen to it like this one's got an interesting beat So basically we can go through all these machines and, and analyze different sorts of faults. And we can do so much. We can change the resolution, we can change the frequency, we can do time sickness averaging on some things. We can, we can do all kinds of things. This is just like having a spectrum analyzer with real data from real machines. We can say, let's look at that axial data from there. Let's look at the vertical data from there. Um, let's choose a different machine. You know, and we'll find different sorts of faults. We can change the units. We can zoom in. There's a lot we can we can do with this. Um, we can even play this vibration out through the computer speakers, out through like a headphone jack, if you like, into an analyzer, so that we can then experiment by taking the measurements on the vibration analyzer. Uh, we can do lots of things. But the good thing is it's real data from real machines with real problems and we can use that in our classroom rather than using old graphs from machines and it's, it's always harder to analyze and certainly you can't change settings and see what would have happened if we had changed the settings. So that's just a quick look at this program. It's got lots of capabilities but just want to uh, highlight some of the features of these different simulators. But as I say, that one is one that you could use if you like because it is part of iLearn Vibration Professional. Anyway, thank you very much for viewing this presentation.